All right, class, in this video, we continue our discussion on section 6.5 in your note packet on definite integrals using the U substitution method. We are going to pick it up at the top of page 90, and we are going to calculate uh, the area under a curve and above the x-axis uh, between two values of x um, using the U substitution method. So here in example one, we have the function uh, f of x is equal to e to the minus x divided by 3 power. And we want to calculate the area under that curve and above the x-axis uh, for values of x between minus 1 and 3. And so here we have the graph of the function f of x, e to the minus x divided by 3 power. And we're going to calculate this area right in here, above the x-axis and below the curve from x equals minus 1 to 3. And we learned earlier um, that the definite integral gives us the value of this area exactly. So um, the area in this case is equal to the definite integral from x equals minus 1 to 3 of e to the minus x over 3 power with respect to x. So um, we can use the u substitution method to evaluate this definite integral. We set u equal to minus x over 3. And when we differentiate u with respect to x, we get the derivative u with respect to x is equal to minus 1 third. And then we multiply both sides by dx, and we get du is equal to minus 1 third dx. Well, we have the dx. So we don't have the minus 1 third. So we multiply both sides by minus 3 and we get minus 3 du is equal to dx. So now we can do the, uh, do the substitution, replace minus x over 3 with u, and we have e to the u, and then we replace dx with minus 3 du, and so we end up with the definite integral of e to the u times minus 3 with respect to u. All right. Well, you know, minus 1 and 3 are the limits of integration for the variable x. We need the limits of integration for the variable u. All right, so now we got to find the new limits of integration for the variable u. We know minus 1 and 3 are the limits of integration for the variable x. Now we got to find them for the variable u. So um, the first one, right, when x is equal to minus 1, using our equation here, we have u is equal to the negative of minus 1 over 3, which is equal to 1 third. And then when x is equal to 3, when we put in 3 in for x, we get u is equal to negative of 3 over 3, which is equal to negative 1. So the limits of integration after we do the u sub substitution are 1 third and minus 1. Now don't worry that the top number is less than the bottom number. That will happen. Um, when you use the u substitution, just leave them the way they are. Minus 1, x equals minus 1, goes with u equals 1 third, and x equals 3 goes with u equals minus 1. So the minus 3 can be pulled out in front of the integral sign, and we're left with the definite integral uh, from u equals 1 third to negative 1, e to the u with respect to u. Well, the antiderivative e to the u, you know it's just e to the u. So we have minus 3 times e to the u, and then uh, the limits of integration are 1 third and minus 1. So we put in minus 1 in for u, we have minus 3 times e to the minus 1, and then we subtract, and so we're going to have minus a negative 3, which is the same as plus 3, and then we have e to the 1 third. And then when you use your calculator to evaluate this, you get 3.08 square units for the area down here um, to the second decimal place. So the area under the curve and above the x-axis from x equals minus 1 to 3 is equal to 3.08 square units. All right, class, now let's look at example number 2 down below. And we're going to find the area... Um, under the curve of this function and above the x-axis from x equals 1 to x equals 2. 
So the area is given by the definite integral from x equals 1 to 2 of our function here, f of x. And if you look um, at what's in, in the denominator here, what's in the parentheses in the denominator here, the derivative of x cubed plus 5x is equal to 3x squared plus 5. Well, we have that up here, except we need to multiply the numerator by 3. If we multiply the numerator by 3, we'll have 3x squared plus 5, which is the derivative of what's in parentheses here. So we can use the u-substitution method to evaluate this definite integral. We set u equal to what's inside the parentheses, and we have the derivative u with respect to x is equal to 3x squared plus 5. And now we multiply both sides by dx, and we get du is equal to 3x squared plus 5 dx. And, but we have x squared plus 5 thirds up here. So if we divide both sides of this equation by 3, on the left, we'll have 1 third du. And when we divide this first term, 3x squared by 3, we have x squared. And when we divide the plus 5 by 3, we have plus 5 thirds, which is the numerator up here. So this quotient, you know, can be written as the product of two quotients, 1 over x cubed plus 5x quantity squared times x squared plus 5 thirds over 1, and which simplifies just to x squared plus 5 thirds. And so now we can do the uh, substitution, replace uh, x cubed plus 5x with u, and we have u, 1 over u squared, and then we replace x squared plus 5 thirds dx with one-third du, and so we end up with one over u squared times one-third du. And now you know we got to change the limits of integration using this equation here. So when x is equal to one, u is equal to one cubed plus five times one, which is equal to six. And when x is equal to two, u is equal to two cubed plus five times two, which, which is equal to 18. And so the limits of integration with the variable u are 6 and 18. Well, this 1 third can be brought out from the integral sign, and we're left with 1 over u squared, but 1 over u squared is the same as u to the minus 2 power. So we have 1 third times the definite integral from u equals 6 to u equals 18 of u to the minus 2 power du. Now using the power rule of anti-differentiation, the antiderivative u to the minus 2, we add 1 to the exponent and get minus 1 and then divide by minus 1. And our limits of integration are 6 and 18. Remember that 1 third is a multiplicative constant. Well, u um, to the minus 1 is the same as 1 over u. And then we can multiply 1 third by this minus 1 and get minus 1 third. So this up here simplifies to minus 1 third times 1 over u. And our limits of integration are 6 and 18. So we put in the upper limit, and we have minus 1 third times 1 18th, and then we subtract and put in the lower limit. Well, minus a minus is positive, so we have plus 1 third times 1 over 6. 1 third times 1 6. And now, when you find a common denominator and combine um, the two and multiply and, and um, add the fractions, you get 1 27th. So the area under the graph of this function and above the x-axis from x equals 1 to 2 is equal to 1 27th square units.